Good morning, folks. Well, we got a little bit of sunshine today. We'll take advantage of it before it rains again. I had a request from one of my viewers to continue on the, uh, the CCTV uh, camera hood. I wasn't going to do it, but I think we'll give you some video here about it. I'm adding a support brace, or we'll be adding a support brace for the camera and the hood so it doesn't bend when I use the snow rake on the roof. Because sometimes, you know, you bang into things like that. Certainly don't want to bend the uh, thing up, you know. So, uh, well, let's get going. Well, not going to get much warmer than this. I guess I better continue a little bit more on this project. I'm still waiting for the cable to come in. I need 100 feet of cable. Um, my 66-foot piece is not long enough, so I can't use that. That's going to be for the front porch. But I'll need 100 feet, uh, which I've ordered and it didn't come in yet. But um, meanwhile, I want to work on the, uh, the project over here. I got it on the bench again. Now, I got the stuff in there. Don't look too bad. I can take this tape off. I was going to spray it with the self-etching primer, but that stuff's cold. But, you know, you got to work the way you got to work. That's it, you know. Uh, what I want to do is to put some, I want to sand this lightly. And then I want to put a coat of this on it. And then I'm going to use um, Glidden uh, house paint, um, semi-gloss. So it'll be similar to the uh, fascia board. Won't stand out too much. I don't want to use uh, gloss enamel on it. That's too uh, shiny. What I want to do before I even paint this is I want to beef this up a little bit. See how flimsy this is? It's not bad back here. And the reason for that simply is when I go to clean the roof off with the snow rake, you know, that thing is, is, is heavy on a long pole, the extension pole. I'm apt to bang into this, and um, although it probably wouldn't hurt it unless I really hit it hard, I'd rather not have it flex so much. So what I want to do is I found this scrap piece of metal in the shed. I save everything and build things out of, and I already bent it here and I want to curve it around and what I want to do is mount it on the inside of this and pop rivet it all the way across here so it'll stiffen this up a little bit so I'm going to do that off camera and um, we'll come back when I get it where I want it to be all right so this piece should fit right in like that and about a three-eighths of an inch or maybe half inch from the bottom which is the way I want it and we'll just bring it up to the edge and I'll drill down through and uh, put some pop rivets in that should bring this in a little bit and that should stiffen it up a little make it a little better than what it is so when I get this clamped up ready to go we'll come back on the video all right, I got it clamped, and I got one hole drilled, and I got to go find a pop rivet here. And let's see what we can use in there now. I like to get a long one. All right, we'll come back in a minute here when I find one. Here's, here's one here that might be long enough, medium. I'll check it, though, because this uh, metal is about an eighth inch thick. I have no idea where I got that from, but I save everything. So we'll get a hole in here, then we got to straighten this out just a little bit on an angle here. Um, so we'll get that set up. I'll put the first pop rivet in there and we'll continue. All right, I got one rivet down here and I just drilled another hole here. So exactly an inch and a quarter from here right to the center of that metal here. So we're going to put another pop rivet in. We don't need to be doing this on camera, but just going to show you when I get it all done and we'll show you what it looks like. I'm getting there. I got three in the side, three, four over here, and I'm going to put two more here. 
drilling tool from this side out and uh, it's pretty rigid I mean you know it's I don't want to put a brace from here to here because that'll get in the way of the camera and my hand getting in there to make adjustments and so on and so forth that's it a little bit of marks from the vice grips but you know I ain't gonna worry about it and it gives it a little more rigidness to it so the next step is uh, take this off as tape because it's only temporary and we'll sand it down with very fine sandpaper and we got the um, self-etching primer in the house warming up so I sanded it with uh, 400 sandpaper and on the inside wall where the camera's mounted, I'll paint that white. I'm not worried about in here and I'm not going to attempt to paint that. Just around the edge here. And uh, we're, this, uh, we're sitting in the house for about an hour and it's room temperature. So, and let's see what the temperature is right now. Well, she made it up to 50 degrees. It's not going to get any warmer than this, so I better do it now. All right. Basically, put this primer on. We'll just hit the edges here. I'm not going to, like I say, I'm not going to paint the inside. And grab it here and when I paint this I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna use the glid in the house paint now I know that'll stick to metal quite well because uh, you ever try to scrape it off a paint can after it dries that glitten is good stuff even though it's latex it's not like the redwood and I cleaned this off really good so we shouldn't have any uh, remnants of that gutter seal on there. I didn't particularly worry about the back too much because that's going to be up against the building anyways. This is just a primer coat and that's all. What goes on here now is the glitten when I get around to painting it and because it's a latex paint at a later date I can bring this in the house put some newspapers down and do it on the kitchen table with a brush it shouldn't be a problem but you don't want to paint this in the house <coughs> what is wrong with your coffee? it's weak and stinks it stinks? Yes, it All right, folks, that's it. She's got to dry. Also, primer dries pretty quick, but we're going to put it in the shed when I can make sure it's totally dry and when I can handle it. And uh, that concludes this project. The next step will be installing the camera and stuff like that. I may not make videos on that, but... Um, I may show you after it's all up and everything, but I can't do nothing until my wire comes. So, folks, thank you for watching. Have a good day.